Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the routing matrix in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here, and my audio interface has four inputs and four outputs. So I want to set up the tracks over here to use each microphone input on my interface. So one way we could do this is to go to each track, put it into a chord, and change the input right here to mic one, mic two, mic three, and mic four. But that's a bit slow, and we could do this much quicker using the routing matrix in Reaper. Let me show you. If we go to the view menu, we go down here and choose routing matrix. Or we can use the keyboard shortcut, Alt-R on the PC, or Option-R on the Mac. And that opens up this dialog right here, where we could see all of the routing in our project in one window, which makes it a lot easier for doing certain things. But let's go through it. Right over here, we see our tracks, one through four, and we can see the output is set up on each of them for the master parent send, right here, which is the same thing as the routing over here. Master parent send, if we turn it off over here, we can see it's off over here as well. Turn it back on, and now it's back on over here. So it's doing the same thing. But we could do it all from this one window. Change the master parent send on all the tracks. We'll put it back on. But after the master parent send, these tracks are being sent over here to the main output, which is one and two on my audio interface, where my speakers are plugged into. And three and four on my interface, I'm using for my headphones. So if I wanted to send all four tracks to there as well, we could do it right from here, just by clicking. And now we're sending to the headphones the same mix as we're sending to the speakers. And we can click it to readjust that send, send this volume to it, or mute it, or delete it. But we could also delete it right from here. Hold on Alt on the PC, or Option on the Mac, and that deletes that send. This makes it easier to do a lot of different things. For example, in the beginning, we set up the mic inputs. They show up over here, mic one through four. We could send mic one to track one right here, just by clicking this button. And do the same for mic two to track two, three, and four. In fact, we could just drag it very quickly right here. Now mic one is going to track one, mic two is going to track two, and so on. And we can even put it into a chord right from here, just by clicking this again, and each track goes into a chord. And we can do that quicker as well by dragging. Put all the tracks into a chord just by dragging, or take them out of a chord by dragging again, or we'll switch them to the MIDI inputs, or the virtual MIDI keyboard, or my USB MIDI keyboard right from here, and put them all into record, or take them out. Let's put them back to mic one through four. And that's a lot quicker than doing it from the track control panel. And we could also set up buses a lot quicker. Let's change track four to a bus, and we could do that by taking track one through three, out of the master parent send. Just drag it. Now they're no longer sending to the master parent send. And we can send them instead to a bus track right here. Just drag it. Now these three tracks are sending to this track. And the bus track is still going out to the master parent send. Once again, it's a lot quicker to do it in this window. And we can adjust each send individually 
just by clicking it. And they open up right here. We can change them to be pre-fader, pre-fx. We'll hold on Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and delete them right from here. And then put them back to the master parent send. We could also set up effect sends from here. Let's pretend this track is a reverb return. And we wanted to add some reverb to these three tracks. We could do it quicker right from here. Just drag all three of these, and they're all sending to the reverb track. And we can readjust how much reverb we want just by clicking each one and adjusting their send right here. And again, we could delete it by holding on the modifier and just dragging. Let's change this back to track four. Let's set up a headphone mix. Let's add a new track. We'll call it headphones. And now we can send all four of these tracks to a headphones to create a headphone mix. We'll keep the tracks in the master parent send, but take the headphone track out of it and send it directly to the headphones. Again, we can click it to readjust the master for the headphones, but also create a headphone mix for each track just by dragging from one to four and then clicking each one and readjusting each send. So you can quickly create a headphone mix right from here with each track being sent to the headphones and the headphones being sent to output three and four, which is where my headphones are set up. So as you can tell, the routing matrix is a great place to see all of our routing in our project, but also a great place to create new routing or just the existing routing we already have. So that's pretty much it. That's the routing matrix in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!